This is the Ryder and Lisa Replay. Brought to you by Southtown Hyundai. Check out the Southtown Hyundai Advantage at southtownhyundai.ca. What are you going with today, Lise? Underrated. Skunks. What? Do you ever stop and think about the fact that they are just born with this amazing superpower, this weapon to make people avoid them, to scare dogs away, to stink up your entire life? They will ruin your life with just one tail lift. Mm -hmm. Well, two, because they do do the little um, warning shot. Warning shot. Watch out. It's coming. Usually dogs are a bit too dense. To realize that that is a warning shot. Right. And then they get sprayed. Yeah. <laughs> but how cool is it? Imagine being born mm-hmm. and then your mother is like, just lift your tail if you're feeling In trouble. Threatened. Yeah. Just spray them. Like you, if you get sprayed with a skunk, everything around you smells. Plus like shout out to their hair pattern. That's pretty cool. Yeah. They got this like cool little, uh white streak between their eyes. It goes all the way down their back. Yeah, we've, seen, we've seen it before. Well, have you? Yeah, everybody knows what it is. <laughs> <laughs> so one part of it's black. One and part of it, it's got a bushy <laughs> tail, in case you didn't know. No, you make a good point. Like, I was watching, uh, I was golfing yesterday, and there was a coyote on the course, and it was, like, stalking a rabbit. And you're like, oh, I wish that rabbit had a defense m- weapon. Yeah, and it, I mean, it could probably outrun the coyote if it was able to take enough turns, and I didn't get to see how this ended, but yeah, if you're a skunk, you're just like, yeah, bring it, bro. Listen to this. I'm just reading up on skunks, because I love animal facts. They carry just enough of the chemical in their butt, or wherever it comes out of, for five or six successful sprays that shoot about 15 centimeters. Mm. They then require up to 10 days to produce another supply. Do we know if they stink after they spray? Ooh, great question. Yeah. Like, do you have to wash the skunk with tomato juice as well? Anyway, I will agree with you that skunks are underrated for that very valuable defense mechanism. Uh, I'm going with picnics today, and I'm saying they're overrated. What? Eat at home and then go. You get, don't have to pack up the stuff. You don't end up with ants on your sandwich. <laughs> like, if you were taking a granola bar, right on. Go and eat that in the park. But I just don't understand the fascination with, like, mm-hmm, we're going to have a three-course meal while sitting on the ground. No. Use a table, then go to the park. Clearly, you don't have one of those cute little wicker baskets that people bring to picnics. Nope. Don't want one. <laughs> I got asked to help my one of my best friends move today. Ugh. But here's the thing. There's going to be pizza and beer. So, like, obviously, oh. that is such a great way to get somebody to come. By the way, pizza and beer. Mm-hmm. I don't really get the combination. Beer is pretty much liquid bread. Mm-hmm. Like, I'd be more pumped if she was like, we got two liters of cola. I'd be like, all right, <laughs> perfect. You got a side of ranch? <laughs> anyway, so I had to say yes because she's one of my best friends. Yeah. Um, but being asked to help move, it's just the worst question. You know, it's, though, it's up there as one of the worst questions. I hate moving my own stuff because you kind of got to be the quarterback of the team. And and that gets frustrating. But helping somebody move, eh. You like to look through their stuff. Exactly. You got a little sticky bit nosy. Fingers. You're like, where are you going with this one? <laughs> Putting stuff in your pockets. You're wearing your cargo shorts because there's extra pockets. But no, um, I have a game plan. And is this a recommend something? Kind of. For if you're helping anybody move, okay? Say yes, because then you're instantly loved and appreciated. Right. And there will be free food. And then, oh, I was going to guess that don't show up. No, you show up. Okay. But you do something called forking, Mm. which is fake working. So you strike up a conversation with the other friends that are helping move, like ask some questions about their life. People love talking about themselves. And then you just pick up a box Mm -hmm. and move it from one side of the room to the other side and drop it. Okay. And then you do it back and forth until everyone else has loaded up everything in the truck and there's just that one box left. (laughs) And you're done. And what do you call that? Forking. Well, I guess you could also call it 
Because that's fake working, right? You could also call it fooving. Ooh, fake, fake moving. moving. That's got a nice ring to it. The classic fove. <laughs> Do it. Well, good luck with your fooving. Thank you so and, much. I'm going to eat so much pizza. And hopefully drink some cola. Yeah. Bring, bring your own Coke. Gabriella Cruz. This past Sunday, a waitress named Megan King was just working her routine shift. And there was a elderly woman that came in and sat by herself to have lunch. And she didn't think much of it. But when the woman paid, she left cash on the table with a little note. The note said, thank you very much for your kind service. This was my first time eating out alone since my husband passed. I was hoping I could get through it. How precious is that? So this waitress posted the note with the cash Mm -hmm. on Twitter and it's gone super viral just with people being like, that's so sweet, but so sad at the same time. Uh, How was the tip? Good tip? Uh, Well, it was a $11 bill and it had a $3 tip. Wow, that's pretty good. Tell me something good. I haven't had an $11 bill at a sit-down restaurant uh, since I was about 14, probably. Yeah, now I need to know what she ordered. Definitely didn't get gravy on the side because that would have busted it way past 14. (laughs) Yeah. Uh, All right, my story today is about a young young girl who had like just a very entrepreneurial sense and and struck at the right time so she was eating a bag of doritos and she found a really like puffed up triangle pillow looking dorito in her bag and so she posted it on tiktok and just asked how she should eat it people started giving their advice (laughs) that's hilarious it started taking off got a like crazy amount of views six million i think is what it's up to now Uh, But somebody suggested, why don't you put it on eBay and just see how much you can get for it? So she did. Are there people that are that obsessed with Doritos or weirdly shaped food? And just one of a kind type food. Yeah. Yeah. So it uh, it busted up to over one hundred thousand dollars by the time she sold it. And now Doritos, like the company, is celebrating her entrepreneurial sense by also giving her a $20,000 reward and thanking her for all the publicity. Are you kidding me? So she's just raking it in. Of course, her dad was asked about it all, and he said, whoops, I ate the chip. <laughs> no, he <laughs> didn't. Which did. is such a dad move. No, he didn't eat the chip, but that's, he's like, oh, that puffy chip? Yeah, that was pretty good. <laughs> such imagine, a dad be- move. imagine being a dad, though. With this whole life of social media and yeah. being like, what do you mean you made that much money from a Dorito? Yeah, what do you mean you made more than <laughs> I did in the last three years just now? Yeah. Tell me something good. Okay, age yourself by telling us a clothing brand that was popular when you were in high school. Seven eight zero seven eight four seven one zero seven. What do you got? What do I have personally? Yeah. Well, when I was in high school, American Eagle. Oh, mm. No, not American Eagle. What am I thinking of? Oh my gosh, what am I thinking of? The really smelly store. What? That really stinky store that when you'd walk in, it was like pumping music and it was really dark in there and it was really stinky. And they would always have um, guys standing at the door with their shirts off, all greased what? up. Where did, it, what? Where did you show up? I am having the worst blank right now like actual humans greased up with their shirts yeah, off standing they had at the like door male models no, welcoming you i swear this isn't a thing well you didn't go, you didn't grow up in edmonton yeah. you were in saskatchewan but it was a big deal but everything was really expensive a lot of jeans people are guessing abercrombie that's it that's yeah. it hollister More hollister yes yeah. thank you so much i was so excited for my answer and then as soon as i went to say it i was like wait i don't actually know what it's <laughs> that's called how, that's how long ago it was honestly when you were in high school <laughs> so they opened up abercrombie in the mall mm-hmm. and they also opened up fc uk and i was like everyone else has an fc uk sweater i need one so i ventured over to the mall i walked into the store and i was like i'm sorry a hundred dollars for mm. a sweater that just says those four letters on it. You see, you just switch the letters around and said <laughs> that, that. <laughs> so let us know what is a store or a fashion, sorry, a clothing line mm-hmm. that was really popular when you were in high school. Julie said hyper color. Nice. Carlene Car- says Club Monaco sweatshirts, which by the way, are back in style full force. Yeah, I've seen them around, actually. Uh, Haley Bieber had one on the other day, yeah. and I was like, oh, is this back? 
you got to keep some of that stuff, right? Like, well, I wish I had all my No Fear shirts. That was huge when I was in high school. It, like, It seems to be a huge hit on the text line, too. A lot of people were wearing that Chip and Pepper shirt. It's not the size of the dog in the fight. It's the size of the fight in the dog. Is that actually what was on the shirts? No Fear. Yeah, they'd have sayings like that. And then there was No Surrender as well, which was like the cheap ripoff brand. Okay, a lot of people grew up going to high school at the same time as me. A lot of baby fat rolling in on the text line. Did you ever see baby fat clothing? I have no idea what you're talking about. Okay, so it was baby fat, but it's spelled P-H-A-T. And there was like a lot of pink. Okay. Cursive writing. Baby fat was written in cursive writing. So if you had um, websites like uh, MySpace or Nexopia, Mm -hmm. baby fat was all over it. All right. You have no idea what I'm talking about. I'm telling you. I don't think our listeners understand how frustrating it can be to do a morning show with a guy that didn't have internet access hey. or a mall <laughs> growing up in, in Saskatchewan. What? So everything I'm not I'm cool saying, that I don't have a mall? Because everything I'm saying to you is going over your head. You don't know what Nexopia is. You probably didn't even have MySpace. We did have a mall. Thank you very much. A little strip mall. Yeah, it had a bowling alley in it and my dad's office <laughs> and a grocery store and a legion. I think I just (laughs) unlocked a lot of memories for people considering how many women specifically are laughing on the text line remembering their baby fat obsession. Really? Oh, yeah. So pink and like what crop tops, that kind of look. Oh, my gosh. Like sweatpants? Sweatpants, for sure. It was mostly the the shoes. The shoes were like skater shoes. Hillary just wrote in saying, how about the fact that Champion was an affordable brand that we used to wear in high school, and now it's super expensive mm. because it's been glorified. Yeah. Celebrities are wearing stuff like That's that now. Point. So they can jack up the price to 100 bucks for a sweater. It's crazy. The Sugi shoes from Walmart. Sugi shoes! Were you wearing, like, the dad runners or the cool ones that look like skater shoes? Oh, you had to be wearing the cool skater ones, but you usually ended up owning at least a pair of dad shoes. Always. Yeah, so they, like, you'd tell your mom you wanted Sugi shoes, she'd go shopping and come home with the dad ones, and you'd be like, not those Sugis, No, mom. but these yeah. ones are kind of sweet because the sides of these dad shoes are, like, gel. You always poke with a pen in class. Yes! Okay, that was a great answer. Me. Play 107. Purse buns. They are a thing. Okay, and I'll agree to that. Well, and it doesn't just have to be a purse bun. It can be a pocket bun just because um, most dresses have pockets now. Okay. It's very convenient. Yeah, I don't think the pocket bun's a thing. Where are you at? Oh, I just have to, you know, come in and defend Lisa's pocket bun. No, you've put a bun in your pocket. Yes. You put the bun in your pocket, you put the forks and knives in your pocket, you put the butter in your pocket. Thank you. And then you put the food on your plate. Whoa, <laughs> There's a system, Ryder. <laughs> Holy man, you I got even, told. You put the bun in his pocket. <laughs> <laughs> I've done the mouth bun where I don't want to take okay. up the space on the plate. So you so just put it in your mouth. I just put it in my mouth and then serve the rest of my eh, food. That works too. I don't know why they put the bun first. Just put them last. So oh my gosh, Lindsay. That is like such an amazing idea. Good Put the point. buns last. Yeah. This whole time. This we're, whole time. We're just a bunch of idiots. <laughs> Listen up. James just called in when you were away and uh-huh. informed me that there is a new song in the Billionaires Club. What do you mean? Well, a song that's hit a billion views on YouTube. Oh. Yeah, music video. Um could that be? Am you I supposed to guess? No, you don't have to guess. Oh. I can just show you. Sure. Okay. This is it. Okay. Nice try. What? You just rickrolled me. No. Good one, James. No, no. I'm telling the truth. This is actually the song that just hit a billion views. Okay. No, like seriously, I don't know. Rick Astley's song, Never Gonna Give You Up, just hit a billion. Hmm, sure. No, I, this is the Push It Challenge for salt and pepper tickets. You got to make it sound like you're pushing something. Three contestants, whoever makes it sound the most genuine is going to win. Contestant one is on the phone. You get the rules. You're good to go. Let's do this. Okay. On your mark. Get set. Push it. <laughs> Uh, 
Okay, that was Ooh, solid. That was a great start, contestant number one. Contestant number two, are you ready? Yes, I am. On your mark, get set, push it. <laughs> solid, well done, Very well done. Very good, next caller. Contestant number three, do you know the rules? I think so. Okay, on your mark, get set, push it. That's all I've got. <laughs> I really like the breathing at the risk. end. The breathing was real, a nice touch. That's amazing. We're going to put you on hold for a second. Who's the best? Time to, to debate. What do you think? I, I, I thought I, they were all good. I feel like number one is my favorite. I really liked how long number two went for it, though. Ben... He, he pushed well, it for a while. And at the end, it sounded like he actually pushed it and it was successful because there was kind of like a celebratory, yeah. like, oh, at the end. Pushed it real good. So what do you think? We're between one and two, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, let's close our eyes on the count of three. Okay. Put up who you think should win. Okay, ready? One, two, two three. three. Uh-oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let you have this one. Okay. We won't even say who picked who. Lisa's choice. Lisa has chosen. Uh, uh, it was disputed, but you are the champion. Me? Yes. Oh, yay. You've won the Push It Challenge. Enjoy salt and pepper. Oh, thank you. Okay, stay on hold for a minute. Contestant number one's name is Dawn, and she and three friends will be uh, watching salt and pepper from a table at the Together Again concert series on September 4th. We have um, a sale going on right now for tickets, 30% off. TogetherAgainYEG.ca if you want to get in on this awesome event. Let's give uh, Dawn the floor one more time. Let's Push it, it for us. Yep. <laughs> Sugi Shoes. Sugi, Sugi, Sugi Shoes. Lisa. Brought to you by Southtown Hyundai. Play 107.